Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. And today I am going to be sharing with you my most recent Simplicity pattern haul. I was able to pick up a few patterns at the last Simplicity sale and my store did have the newly released fall patterns. There are several of them that I really, really liked and wanted to pick up and I was able to get those patterns. So I'm gonna share those with you today. So I will go ahead and share those patterns and if you like this video make sure that you go ahead and give me a like and if you have not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can see whenever I upload videos and I do upload these types of videos on a regular basis so for the first pattern that I picked up I picked up simplicity 9644 and the pattern description is mrs. dresses in three lengths what I really love about this dress is the simplicity I love how it flares over open at the sides I love the different lengths and I love the opening at the top if you notice and look at the different views view a is a long view and it has a what a smaller opening I should say at the top and that is what the model is wearing on the right hand side view B is a longer dress and actually it's the longest of the views and it has a larger opening for me because i have a bigger bust i would make view a so that i could have the opening because i do like that feature but i don't want like my bust hanging all the way out which is why i wouldn't make view b view c is a really standard dress i like the simplicity of it and i like the fact that there's a turtleneck so here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your stretch knits only such as jersey, lightweight ponte, textured knit, stretch velvet. And if you look at the line drawing on view C, you will see that view C has a opening in the back as well. So while it does not have an opening in the front, you get that opening detail in the back and the other versions um, view a it's just a standard back you know with the seam view b is the same but the sleeves are different on views a and b and again i would make view a so for the next pattern i picked up i picked up simplicity 9646 and the pattern description is mrs button down top i really love this style I, just like i love my button down dresses i love button down tops i just don't make many of them but i really was drawn to this pattern especially view a view a is shown on the top two photos with on the pattern cover and view a is what the model is wearing I really love like I said the button-down feature I love the collar I love the drop shoulders and I love the sleeves I like how they're gathered and how there's how it's elasticated at the wrist uh, view B is nice I don't really see what the biggest difference is on view B, I would assume length. And view C is nice as well. Um, there's no inset sleeve, so it'd be a nice button down top that you would not have to insert sleeves on. So the suggested fabrics are gonna be your chambrays, your cotton lawns, cotton blends, gingham, eyelet, linen blends, poplin, and shirtings. And here are the line drawings in the back. So again, I would make view A and this pattern is considered easy to sew. It's down here at the bottom, so it should not be difficult at all. So for the next pattern, I picked up Simplicity 9636. This is a Mimi G pattern and the pattern description is Mrs. Hoodies and Leggings. I really like this style of hoodie. I feel like it's very, very much comfort wear. I love comfort wear. I love hoodies. I have a lot of hoodies, so it's not like I need anything like this, but I want it and it does look different. The difference in between this hoodie style and the ones that I have is the U-shaped opening at the side seam right here. I like that feature and it's not typical for a hoodie to have short sleeves. So it, when you're in between that weather, if you're coming out of the gym and you want to cover up but you don't want to be too hot, this is something that you could wear and you could just lounge around the house in it actually as well. 
but if you did want to cover up completely you could always wear a long sleeve shirt underneath and it would hang out of the hoodie so yes i'm really loving this i also like the leggings but that was not my intention um or i should say it was not my intention to sew the leggings up but i do like them and uh the leggings have a zipper on the side and there's zippers down here at the bottom to close up the pant so here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your stretch knits only such as fleece ponte scuba sweatshirt fleece and double knit view d which is going to be your leggings calls for stretch knits only such as ponte double neck and interlock and then i picked up simplicity 9640 now i love the simplicity of this i'm a very simplistic person most of the time when it comes down to the line art but I really love this dress because of that and also because of the different seams that you are able to do top stitching on so you can't see it really well in the model because of the lighter fabric but here you can see the seams and then you top stitch on each side of the seam so I thought that would be like a great detail in a solid color uh, fabric and the description for this dress is Mrs. Dolman Sleeves Dress. And if you don't know, I love Dolman style sleeves. So yes, I was definitely gonna pick this up. Um, view A is nice. And the difference is the sleeve shape. It's more like quarter inch length sleeves with gatherings with elastic on for the hem of the sleeve views B it's just going to be long with your straight sleeve all the way down to the wrist and view C is the same as B except for it's just a shorter dress so yeah definitely loving that here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your micro suede stretch wovens wool types ponte and double knits and it also calls for scuba and then I picked up Simplicity 9649. The pattern description for this is Mrs. Poncho's. I love every view on this pattern, but I will say that I was drawn to this pattern because of the model. I really like how the model looks. I like how she's styling it. And I like how the poncho is draped on her. I picked this up because I want to make my mother something for Christmas, but I want to make her something that I know that she will wear on a regular basis. I don't really sew for people that often outside of my husband and my children. And most of the time it's because as we all know, it takes a lot of time and energy to make up something. And if I'm going to make something for somebody, I want to make sure that they're going to wear it. And I know my mother would wear something like this on a regular basis. And she would definitely appreciate the fact that I made it for her. So that is why I picked this up. And I can also see myself wearing it. Um, and I could make it for myself later on as well. But the intention behind getting this pattern is to make this for my mother. For Christmas and hopefully she doesn't watch this video and I ruin the surprise. So the suggested fabric is going to be your boiled wool sweatshirt fleece and fleece and also in ponte knit and nylon for view C which is the shorter uh, version of this and also view C has a hood versus like a cape that drapes around the back like views A and B. And this pattern is considered easy to sew. It's down here at the bottom left hand corner of the pattern. And then I picked up Simplicity 9645. This pattern description is Mrs. Knit Tops. So what I like about this pattern is that it's a t-shirt pattern and it has raglan sleeves. I did notice when I participated in the Sew T-shirt for Summer Challenge that Joey of Sew Joey put on this past summer. I did notice that I didn't have many t-shirt patterns. And so because I actually wanted to sew more than one or, you know, just wanted to have more options, I decided to go ahead and pick this pattern up. All sizes are in this packaging so you know it runs from extra small through extra extra large and you will get that um, there are different views view a 
and B are the same view except for the sleeve length. View C has um, like rouging and drawstrings on the side and view D is also the same as view A and B, just a shorter sleeve. Um, but yes, it has gathering at the sleeve cap and um, that you can contrast within these color blocks up here. As you can see the line art, you got a lot of room to be very creative with this pattern. I also like that this is another easy to sew. So here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be a stretch knits only such as interlock, jersey, and rib knit. And then I picked up Simplicity 9641. The description for this is Mrs. Button Down Dress. I was sold to this based off of the model once again. The models did really well in my opinion for this fall collection. This is another pattern that I feel like could be worn all through all seasons. So you have your longer sleeves that could be worn in the fall and winter. And then you have your short sleeve that could be uh, worn in the summer, which is view B. Um, there are also different collars. So views A and C have the same collar. View B has more of a collar stand for the collar. But I, a while back, a couple of years ago, I believe on my 40th birthday, I made a dress that had a lot of these like line arts with, with throughout the seams here. Um, it wasn't a button down, but it had similar line drawings to it for my birthday. And I absolutely loved it. And it was a new look pattern, but new look doesn't go past size 18. And I'm in about a 22 right now. So there's no way that I would be able to wear that again, but it was very becoming on my shape. So when I saw this, I immediately said, I am going to get that. So that is why I picked it up. Um, view A, the sleeves here. So it looks like there's like pleats in these sleeves here at the top and at the bottom. There's elasticated sleeves here for view C, view B just has like the cap sleeve. And yeah, so I just think it's very, very pretty and I really like the designs. So here are the line drawings in the back and your suggested fabrics are gonna be your cotton, cotton blends and poplins. And for view C, you can contrast with sheer fabrics and novelty shears. And then I have Simplicity 9518 and the pattern description is backpacks and accessories. I picked it up for the simple backpack. I have backpack patterns, but I kind of like this one because of the big pouch in the front here. It's very simple. You know, you can contrast really well. You have your pockets on the side. Love it. All the other stuff is just going to be a bonus. Um, but I'll take it. <laughs> and here are the line drawings in the back. And then I picked up 9618 and the pattern description for this is Mrs. Totes. The reason why I picked up this bag is because I am a bag lady. I love bags and I do not have a pattern like this that has like the recessed zipper. So I definitely wanted to have a pattern versus having to draft one on my own absolutely love it definitely would be making it and i'll probably use like ankara fabric or something like that to get that made up and every size within this pattern is in the envelope so you don't have to buy different sizes for that and here are your line drawings in the back Well, that is all for this pattern haul. Please let me know in the comments which pattern you like most and which ones you can possibly see me making. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and click the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my returning subscribers for your continued support. And thank you to my new supporters as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,